Well, it's no secret Americans have a love for material things. I do, anyway. Be not a... Blah, blah, blah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> some Spider-Man fans in the building. <laughs> <spread. laughs> <laughs> Even our producer. Like <laughs> oh my God, and Ocala like woman will spend the rest of her life behind bars. Forget this, murdering her two-year-old adopted daughter. Thank Very you. Very well. See, I told you well, going to do, do just like Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oprah snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Residents in one county might feel even better knowing their emergency management team is highly respected by their peers. Hey, Mike, you know what you got to do when life gets you down? What's up? Just keep swimming. Just, just keep swimming, swimming. swimming. So I'll try to do something with my hair. Maybe jump into a lake. Or maybe Alka. <laughs> Who knows? Whatever you got to do. Knows? <laughs> And while he's dancing hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you, you both are dancing. We're just trying to, get you, him. trying to get you into it, Mike. Oh, can we wrap it a little bit? All right, can you give a little hint? No. You have to stick around. He told me no. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mike. No one to tell us no where to go. Eliana Gray is a regular shopper at Ward's. Yeah. I shop here all the time. I always tell people about their spice rack. Shocked because people are walking away with carts from the property. Really? Yeah. I can't believe that. Wards workers tell me they've seen a number of people take their carts. On a consistent basis, we probably have three or four shopping carts per day that goes off of our property. Normally, Williams says she finds the carts at bus stops, but other times she has to search the neighborhood. But we do have quite a few shopping carts that make it off where we have to get in a vehicle and do a neighborhood search on a weekly basis to find them. Which can cost wards 100 bucks per cart if they're not found. It's frustrating. It's very frustrating. It takes away from our time here that we could be helping our customers, and we would like for it not to happen. I think everybody knows that they're not really supposed to take the shopping carts away. Sanitation officials say taking shopping carts off the property is illegal, but it's hard to enforce. Most retail establishments have some kind of sign up there that asks them to please not remove it from the premises. But Gray says stealing shopping carts not only hurts the business, but will cost you in the long run. If you're going to shop here, why would you take the cart and cost them so much money when you know that's going to impact their business and their prices towards you as the consumer? But he's no Prince Charming. So business owners hope shoppers will sing a different tune. Duke Carter, TV 20 News. And your sweater is dope. What would you say? My sweater's proper. Okay. He was on the MTV show From G's to Gents. Congratulations, Shot and Creeper. It is down to you, too. He was one of several contestants from across America trying to change their lifestyle. I am committed to do whatever it takes to be a gent. And this guy, Creeper, or his real name, Thaddeus Martin, the winner of season one of the show. Welcome to the Gentleman's Club. Mm -hmm. Won $100,000 and was in the Elijah County Jail for allegedly spending counterfeit money. Counterfeit money is 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 illegal and it messes it messes stuff up for people who got good money. Police say Martin or Creepa went to the Walmart off of Waldo Road and asked the female person he was with to purchase a cell phone and a calling card from the electronics department. Uh, Mr. Martin provided the money to the person to prov to uh, purchase the items. And once those items were purchased, they were then turned back over into Mr. Martin's custody. Police say hours later, Martin then went to the Walmart on Archer Road, where he returned the phone and calling card for a cash refund. When you got real money, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm not with that. And after investigating the scene and looking at surveillance video, police were able to catch Martin and found out where he lived, where this Jita gentleman was later arrested. But the fact that he'd been on a reality show really had no bearing. Um, when you violate crimes, we're going to prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. Going to the store to purchase something and finding out I got counterfeit money, and, and you know, uh, that would really, really upset me. And it would upset anyone with fake money. Duke Carter, TV 20 News. And Let's crawl and check out our forecast, oh, shall we? Okay. <laughs> that was the most delicious event in Gainesville where three top chefs go neck and neck and, and neck. <laughs> ah, look at that. On fire. Wow. On fire. On fire. <laughs> My I'll take arg. It's a great day to be a pirate on this beautiful blue day. I heard of that. <laughs> to be a Florida Highway Patrol trooper from the Tampa area has resigned after an internal investigation found him to be a threat to public safety. It's impossible that I won't be able to, you know, dance. Dance at the weight possible. <laughs> That's right. Your your dancing should always wait, but certainly if it's outside, <laughs> it should wait. All right, Mike.